Hello everybody, and welcome to The Catacomb Abyss. This was by the founders of ID Software, including the Ka um, Carmack Brothers. Stumbled over that one for a sec. And it is a very early first-person shooter with some interesting elements that unfortunately also make for utter bullshit. Playing on novice mode, because fuck warrior mode. And you are Pelton Everhale. A good wizard, trying to kill the evil Gremlinar, a.k.a. Nemesis, a.k.a. an evil wizard. Even back then, ID was not best known for its uh, grasp of plot. So yeah, it's uh, pretty standard controls for the time, which means n not WASD, but uh, the arrow keys, control to fire, alt to strafe. Strafing's pretty much stayed roughly the same. But there are also three other keys, which correspond to those three little icons just next to Pelton's face. Also, you can destroy items by shooting them. Don't do this. Um, in fact, destruction is the name of the game. We shoot walls, we shoot zombies, and that was the zapper, one of the, one of the first items that you get. As you might expect, it uses the Z key to fire. And basically it's for when you want something very, very dead. Or you want to make a shitty EGA light show. The other two are the Explosion, which is X, and it's the second one and Cure Potions. Obviously, C. There's also a Quick Turn button, and believe you me, you need it. And you will forget about it, like I did. Because, as you may have noticed, the enemies just spawn. It's not all random. There are some random spawns, and there is a limit to the number of spawns I've found. But... God damn. And notice that while we have uh, radar, that yellow crystal, by the way, in the minimap, in that little radar minimap is actually our north, I believe. It's not actually our objective. But yeah, notice that zombie... Um, doesn't show up. Our fireballs will. But the zombies and the bats don't. We'll be fixing that later this level. By the way, this isn't a playthrough of the entire game because Catacomb Abyss is actually kind of shit. And that was the Cure Potion. It pretty much just uh, gets you to 100% health. Pretty much. So you don't need to use them that often, but you do need to use them. Because, as you might have noticed, it's kind of hard to avoid taking damage. What with random spawns. And the fact that until you get the purple gem... ...you can't actually see anything. <laughs> now, there are several kinds of enemies in this game, and we're only going to be seeing three in this video. But, while visually there are lots of different kinds of enemies in this game, uh, they come in only a few categories. For example, you can define them as things that randomly spawn and things that don't randomly spawn. Bats, for example, um, they don't randomly spawn. They will always be in a certain position. 
or things that run forward to melee you, not that you really notice. Now it takes a red key to leave a level, but uh, we saw a blue key door earlier, and I do spend a little time wandering around. But anyway, to get back to the main point, there are things that rush at you, and there's the explosion, and there are things that hang back and shoot you. Thankfully, the latter are rare because, well, they're even more annoying than the melee enemies. And this is why you don't really need the zapper, because you can fire that quickly. So I finally remember where the blue door is, sort of. And we're going to get our first map gem. Well, radar gem. As far as I know, it is not possible to destroy that by shooting it. But, I could always be wrong. And this is a hint for the next level. A hint that's kind of useless, because, well... You can just shoot walls. What would have been a better hint, as we'll eventually find out, is there is no gem in this level. <laughs> but yeah, you can already see the prototype to Wolfenstein 3D and Doom in the Catacomb Abyss, in that the guy gets more worried and bloody and whatnot the more he's injured. I don't think I could ever go below 60%. But, uh... All these wall carvings, by the way, represent future enemies. They're really not very threatening, even if they look... scary to a ten-year-old. But yeah, they're really not very threatening, because both of those enemies are the run forward and melee you types. Now, now that we got the purple gem, you can see, oh my god, we can actually see the zombies on our little mini radar. And as we get more gems, we'll be able to see more stuff. Seems silly? It is silly. Oh, and there's our new enemy, the, sh the Shadow Wraith. Just like pretty much everything in this game that doesn't... Um, pretty much like everything in this game that randomly spawns, it's a melee creature. And its whole purpose is to annoy the shit out of you. You'll also notice there's room for quite a few of those little scrolls that we found earlier. Uh, specifically eight. And I do believe that most of them are found in one level and are largely useless. So, yeah. Game design, this wasn't a very polished game. Uh, although it is something like the fourth or fifth in the series, because you had Catacomb 1 by John Carmack, then Catacomb 2 also by John Carmack, then you had the Catacomb 3D trilogy, and then you had this, Catacomb Abyss, Catacomb Apocalypse, and Catacomb Armageddon. Don't worry about why... There are two apocalypses, effectively. This is because, back then, games were named according to Rule of Cool. Now, one thing that is nice about the Abyss series, well, the Catacomb series, is that the enemies are nearly always different throughout the series. There's a hell of a lot of visual enemy variety. Not a lot of AI variety, but what can you do?
anyway, there's going to be a lot of getting lost, because I genuinely thought there was a gem in this level, turns out there isn't. And you can complete this level in about three minutes. There is no run key, by the way. I do like, however, the fact that you have little things for uh, the area you're in. Because there's no map, and there never will be a map, and the game is confusing, and it's nice to have some idea of where you are. Another nice thing about the minimap crystal is that it will show zombies bef technically before they spawn. So if you click on the ball and use the quick turn, which is tab, there's really no reason not to. Well, you can actually catch them before they spawn. So, as I mentioned, there is no gem in this level. It doesn't tell you, so we've got the red key. Let's end this video. This has been Jamie the D. Take care. <laughs>